Oh my God, guys, you're joining. We are very excited about this. I am the Bacon Issue, and um, we are here, a few people reporting from the VR chat world. 2020 and a half, and this is Hello Tasty Sandwich. It's been a while, long time no see. So we are going to be um, presenting you the work of the students of year 2019-2020. Um, it's the final uh, master project of the MA Virtual Reality of London College of Communication, University of Arts London. And please engage with the chat because we will be on your disposal. Let's see. I'm going to take you guys a little bit closer to the map. So here we can see we are in the middle and we have four projects on the right and two on the left. So we go to the right. Let's go and see what there is here to explore. We have loads of people joining us in VR as well soon. Can you hear us? Yes, there is sound now. There is sound now. Amazing. Oh, <laughs> amazing, guys. So, you, you know, guys, who is responsible for that? Responsible for that is Natalia because she's the queen. Yeah, of the, I should probably say that. <laughs> the queen of the glitches. So, what we are going to do is we are... We are going to go through her project again, so she can talk us a little, talk to us a little bit more about it. So now the rumors are um, are confirmed. Natalia, you are the queen of glitches. Are confirmed, yeah. And you are the I'm queen, the queen of, <laughs> of this project, Ellie Gray Lavender Tea. Can you yes. tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah. So my uh, experience is actually a puzzle game which you have to resolve certain glitches so glitches are puzzles to be solved and i did say before when nobody could hear me that any glitch that occurs you can kind of forward that to me all complaints because they are my responsibility <laughs> um, no but in all, in all seriousness so this experience was inspired by surreal aesthetics and how you can combine those uh, absurdities with digital glitches and where that what that meeting point can be like uh, so it is very simply about just getting and purchasing some Earl Grey Lavender tea in order for you to get some work done. But on the way to purchasing that tea, that very simple task, you have to solve a lot of glitches. And you have this main character, Torpedo Black, who is inspired by a Magritte painting. Uh, and the way you move around is by throwing your head. And that's why we have a lot of the, the heads that you can kind of throw around. So that is my experience in a gist. I do want to say hi to Mark, who did some models for the experience, some character designs as well. Hi, Mark. I see that you are sending some comments on the stream. So thank you for being here. Thank you. So let's go. Let's go and, and try and try to see more about more about Natalia's uh, project, the, in, the inside of the uh, project. Probably was super fun be before because people were uh, seeing us dancing, but then they were not really <laughs> listening no to context. the music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean we are crazy dancing anyway, but. Okay, guys, so let's see the contact details of uh, Natalia one more time then, so that we can make sure um, you can connect with her because her work is super amazing and her personality is even more amazing. As you can see. see tasty sandwich, yeah. Well, she, she, has, she has a tendency to change personalities often, as you will see tonight. But yes, <laughs> that is part of the glitch. <laughs> so this is the Instagram of Natalia, guys. Um, so you can chat with her and you can um, also send her a... Um, uh, you can chat with her and see her more of her work. 
And this is her website where you can see uh, more of her. Oh, someone, someone is super, super fan of the website. So that's the website. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I can, <laughs> if I can, uh, can I borrow this for? <laughs> Sorry, can I borrow this for one? Interaction is key. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> so, guys, this is the website. Someone was really, really big fan of Natalia, so they wanted to steal, <laughs> steal her all for for themselves. Um, so, thank you very much, Natalia. So, can I be tor be torpedo for a night? I will try. I will try to do that. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility, a lot of tea that you have to find. And so, good luck. Or is it? Oh, is it? Okay, I like tea. I like tea. Yeah. Okay, so now is the time everyone has been waiting for. <laughs> Friday <laughs> night. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys, I am Torpedo talking to you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, this is the nicest thing that's happened to me all day. Thank you guys. Oh, oh, really? Thank you for being here. We have a really nice comment. Um, so apparently we are a really fun show for some people here in the VR chat. We hope you guys we are a fun show for you in uh, in uh, Twitch as well. So please leave your comments. Um, and also let's let's leave an emoji to to Natalia. Okay, you guys, can you see that? Can you vote for an emoji to send to Natalia? Do we have <laughs> torpedo? People are saying you're so handsome. I also I have. <laughs> <laughs> Look go, go, at go. this. He's go, not. Go. He's not interested. Torpedo's too busy to date. <laughs> Guys, I'm I dead. She. I'm she's dead. dead. <laughs> she's so dead tired from working on this master. Natalia, can we ask you a question? So the question is, what was the more? Yeah, what was the more uh, difficult? The biggest challenge you have during this, um, the biggest challenge you have during this course? Oh, wow. So the biggest challenge, and I'm sorry this is not more original, but really sometimes you will get some glitches that will make you <laughs> breathe in so deeply that you discover parts of yourself you didn't even know existed. So yeah, glitches can be an opportunity to really tune in really tune in with your <laughs> patience so that was the hardest course of working uh with vr but it was really great and i learned so much yeah i love glitches like i really <laughs> do i think I no, my main inspiration was the yeah the fact that uh, a lot of the things that we encounter in day-to-day -day life that can be seen as really odd or absurd if we approach them with flexibility and openness they can be really fun and enjoyable I agree with you, Natalia. I think uh, that's what we are here to enjoy. I just can you hear me? And we explored that um, a lot this year with this like pandemic and a lot of glitches happening in the world as well. So I think your project yes. and your thinking is is super like contemporary to us and, and to whatever is happening. Yeah. And as the glitch queen, I can say expect more glitches. <laughs> <laughs> expect more. I'm not Always sure. Always expect some glitches. I'm not sure how we should take that. That advice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure. Guys, uh, whoever, is, whoever is listening, don't listen to her. Don't expect more glitches. Maybe tonight, but not... Uh... <laughs> uh, that, that's how you learn, though. That's how the best stuff comes out. Yeah, that's true. That's how you learn about life as well. Yeah. There's totally. A interesting, tricky. It's a teleport position. I think I single-handedly caused that <laughs> with my comment. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, whoever is watching, whoever is watching, that's exactly what we meant about glitches and what will be happening tonight so yan yan where are you you are here hi hi, so, hi. guys I'm say here. hi to yan so wait that's why not where is your camera where, oh. where, where where should i look just uh, from the here <laughs> oh here is okay yes i'm here i'm framing you with my <laughs> face 
We can do a selfie. Okay, okay. okay. Hi, everybody. Let's do let's do a selfie. Uh, yeah, camera. Okay. Oh, this here is a camera. Yeah. Hi, Neuroformer. Hello, Hi, uh, Neuroformer. Mm. Okay, guys. Uh, every, uh, everyone to come. Well, I just spent half an hour it? in a version of this world on my own. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh hi! I've I've seen everything. <laughs> I yeah, didn't yeah, know yeah. anyone else was here. Hello. Who's, who are you, Neuroformer? I'm I'm Richard Lewis. Hi, Richard. <laughs> I'm Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Richard, nice to meet you. Hi, Jessica. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a Yan. Hi. Hi, Yan. Would you like Jan, to go to the spaceship? It's super, it's okay, super I nice. Will int introduce your project, please. Okay. <laughs> come here to the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, just come here. Okay. Hi, everybody. And I'm Yan. And uh, it's amazing things. And I'm in the uh, virtual world to introduce my virtual project. In my virtual reality class and this is my final project and uh, the interesting idea is uh, a cross-platform uh, online game i mean that people can play the game uh, between on the mobile phone and uh, a virtual hmd device i mean i mean that the virtual head is a uh, headset device and they can play together on different uh, cross platform just like here because just like here i mean that uh, some people will use uh, a vr headset in this um virtual world oh oh <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> the, the I mean, I tell this, this is a very amazing point this is a very amazing point <laughs> uh, uh, and, uh, let me go on. yeah <laughs> Uh, and uh, this, this game is just like a cross platform. The people will use a mobile phone to play with others, others who will wear uh, uh, VR headset. And uh, we can see a uh, model. It's a virtual character. Yeah. This is a uh, main space shape. And uh, you can see the big one, and this is a small one. And uh, people can play the game uh, in different platform for someone if you wear a headset you can just uh, uh, in this you can see at top of the tower there's a room people will play the game at the first person mm, yeah, just here. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I lost them. They're probably traveling in space. This idea, Jan, is really great to have the cross platform. It's um it's so much better for accessibility. <laughs> and yeah, also yeah, yeah. I think it can attract people to try VR. If they're doing it on the mobile, they're like, Oh, that actually looks cool. I wanna do it in the first person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, this is a uh, yeah, this is a shot we do too to display the entire game process. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a story telling part. Really cool, Jan. Can we play the game? Is, is the project, uh, are you going to release it and publish it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, because now I'm just to convert my project from, from uh, into the PC platform. Maybe oh, later okay. I can send another version because mm -hmm. now this version can only run on the Oculus Quest, this uh, this uh, HMD platform. But later maybe I will try to convert for another uh, VR headset. Yeah, you can see this is third person and the first person, and the third person can see something at the bird view, and to guide the the, the first person I to move well <laughs> to the the green point. Yeah, this. This is the rescue point, the green point. That is so cool. <clears throat> so, Jan, we're getting a comment. Somebody would love to try. Lily Vabartha wow. would love to try. And it looks great. Well done. Hey, I, I, I will, bravo. Yeah, I will, make, I will complete it. <laughs> oh, hi. Cool. <laughs> That's quite an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Alien.
Wow. Ooh, ghost emojis. <laughs> I was looking for the alien, yeah. but we don't have any alien. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yeah, the the finds the the green point, the rescue point. Very yeah. well done, <laughs> very well done, and your your art is amazing. Uh, yeah, and it's really really beautiful. Like I'm looking at the story. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically it. hitting my my uh, my head. <laughs> oh oh, I lost you again. Did we lose him? Yeah. Oh, oh they're up there. Oh. oh, we have somebody new. Hi. Hi, Perfect Circle. Hi, Perfect Ooh. Circle. <laughs> Hello. Oh, we love your avatar, Perfect Circle. That's a really nice avatar. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's see here the uh, Instagram from um, Jan. So, anyone who loves this amazing project you can look um connect with jan on the instagram oh god someone teleport me you can connect <laughs> with jan on the instagram <laughs> natalia stop doing it <laughs> you can connect on the instagram i can you can't it's on your nature <laughs> oh my god oh my. <laughs> i will i will, I will from, and this is the website of jan Wow, I'm an adrenaline junkie, is what I am. Yeah. I, so I'm going to stay away from the teleport thing now. Far away. <laughs> far away, far away, so, far away. Someone... Yeah, there we are. Glitchy Queen, do we have any questions oh, yeah. about Jan? Oh. Does anyone have any questions about Jan? How, how uh, about his project and anything? This is Jan. This was Jan. I was just flying. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Jan. Congratulations, oh, Interesting Jan. experience. Oh, wow. <laughs> now I feel like I'm ready for skydiving. I didn't think <laughs> I would be ever, but I am now. <laughs> I think that's the best part of, uh, of VR, that you can get like real immersion and simulation of situations. So do we have any, mm. any questions about Jan? Any comments? <laughs> Jessica, can you tell us your thoughts about Jan's project? <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> sure. I think that um, it's a really, really great... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. And I think it's also going to attract more people then to try VR because they'll think, oh, that yeah. looks really fun. Mm -hmm. And I like the game mechanic because it's quite simple, mm -hmm. but effective. The art looks really good. I, I would like to see this project become reality. It would be really cool. My team would really love to try it and see it. Wow. Thumbs up nice. for you, Jan. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you yeah. very much, Jessica. I, I will be Thank inviting you, you to nice. show it to us. <laughs> cool. Maybe I can send a demo <laughs> for you. <laughs> yes, please. We will, we will give you feedback. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Amazing. So let's go to the next one. Shall let's we? go. <laughs> Which way are we going? <laughs> Where is Anna gone? This way. I think we it's can like hilarious. It. It's like, who do I follow? The, <laughs> the primate, the piece of toast, the robot? Like, you know, <laughs> who, 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 who should we follow? <laughs> I think uh my well, son's like who's the piece of toast? You follow your <laughs> in, you follow toasty. your instinct. Tasty toasty. So um <sighs> the next project we have is called Codex Seraphinianus. Um this is made by amazing work of Peng Sheng Zheng. So you can see uh his name here and you can see the Instagram of Peng Sheng. Um here maybe i can turn on my selfie camera now so we can see. yeah and i have a question coming in okay somebody is wondering what software is used to make something like this so we in the course use unity yeah, uh, just 3D. for everybody's yeah. information unity 3d exactly but can you tell us natalia we can use some other software as well is uh yeah unreal as well unreal is a good alternative mm -hmm. Exactly. And for 3D modeling, you can use various software, I guess. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's usually a combination. Yeah, Blender. There are many <laughs> options. 
Exactly. And I recommend you can try to use a blender. <laughs> blender is really nice. Oh, okay, so Jan recommends blender. Yeah. Yeah. I we got a newcomer. Welcome. Hello, Byron. Hi, Byron. <laughs> Say hi to the Twitch stream. So cute. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, guys. I'm gonna do that. I cannot resist. Can I tap this head? Oh, that's so cute! Hi, Byron. Thank you so much for joining us. We are very excited to have you here. So, um, Tasty Toasty, let's go and see more about uh, Pink Shanks yes. project, Codex Serafinia News. So you can see. A, a really interesting character over there and some um, some uh, beautiful low poly art. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is? Yeah, I think we should watch the video because it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a nice yeah. puzzle game based on perspective. It's just like a visual illusion. This is a 3D visual illusion. Oh my god, this is a cool avatar. Who? Hi. Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm great in yourself. What's up, Natalia? Hi, Dave. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, thank you. To it, you can hear properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have to go too close, you can listen to some sound. So, Peng Shang, we got a comment for you. Great music, great models. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody saying, Good dancing monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Who was that? Who was that? Dance monkey dance. Who was that? <laughs> it was user Marty Mart Mart Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, <laughs> you're a legend! You're a legend! <laughs> oh yeah, this is a uh, 3D illusion. That's a 3D illusion! Yeah, so you have to line up the bridge. So that the chicken can cross the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> why did, but why did the chicken cross the bridge? Precisely. Perspective. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is like the last part. Let's see if we can all Let's listen. Yeah, yeah. Please quiet. Everyone quiet. Mm. Everyone quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot keep saying. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> okay, guys. It's very cute and funny. Okay. okay. Let me show so, you something. Have some idea. <laughs> Let me show you something. I'm going to become the chicken, and then we can take all a selfie oh, with my wonderful. twin brother. Okay. Everyone. <laughs> One of them, yeah. <laughs> okay. Everyone, go behind. Go behind the camera. And oh, counting on three. We're gonna do the voice of the chicken, okay? Okay, <laughs> on three. Three, <laughs> two, one. Two, ah, one. Damn. I really love this avatar at this point, you know, I, I love the walk. Yeah, okay. I love it. My my kids like, Mom, why are you acting like a chicken in VR? I'm like, oh, it's been, it's been a long day, sweetheart. It's been a long yeah, day. <laughs> it's been a really long day. Come on, alien. So. Do we have any questions about uh, Peng Sheng? Any comments? Yeah, so let's see. 
if anybody has any questions, feel free to type it, type it up in the chat. I love the aesthetic, and I think that it's a really kind of nice play on those um, visual illusions that you see in print, but it's very mm. cool to see it in 3D like that. Thank you very much, yeah, definitely. Jessica. I think that's a great comment. <laughs> Any other comment? Alejandro, you're being very that? mysterious. You okay? <laughs> Oh, you are Alejandro. Hi, Alejandro. <laughs> nice to meet you. I've been hearing Hi. about you for a long time. Nice to meet you. Oh I don't God. think we have met. Hi. Hi. Oh, Thank you so much for joining us. What's your That's name? super exciting. I'm the Spina. Or the Bacon Issue. Oh, yeah, I have heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is so cute. And I have another comment from user Bendable Posable. Nice work, Peng Sheng. <laughs> oh, she did it! She did it! She put on the avatar! Yeah, I want to match Veer's project. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wait. Guys, we are all getting ready oh. for... Looking good, man. That's so cute. I had one of those when I was a kid. I had the yellow one. If you take your head <laughs> off, can you bowl it? Can you grab your head to teleport? Let me tap you. Oh, no, oh. you cannot. Oh! You guys, she has a surprise. She's gonna keep it for the end of the show. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. You know what <laughs> I'm talking about. This is actually about. pretty risque. It's a pretty yeah. risque avatar. Guys, Let's I'm so sorry. Show mine. I'm Your gonna project. have to go because I need to give my kids dinner. But um, it oh. was really lovely to see some of the projects, and I'd love to see the rest of the videos. And then if I can come back um, with my team, that would be awesome because we'd love to to come back and look at the rest of the projects. Yeah, thank, you so much for being here. You, thank you very much, um, Jessica. Will... Yes, we will. No worries. Well done, guys. Congratulations. You did brilliantly. Thank you. Remember, you thank did you. all of this in the lockdown, remotely, without seeing anybody. You achieved Ooh. a lot. Well done. Woo! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good job, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Oh. Bye. Bye. That was so cute. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was just thinking that we might have some teleporting stuff going on uh -huh. with the cubes. Later on, <laughs> let's leave. Let's leave uh, Veer. Let's leave Veer for mm. for uh, for when he's here. Yeah, I I see his request, so he's gonna be joining us soon. Let's go to to Richard. You're a former. Yay! You are, <laughs> the state is yours. Come with me. <laughs> Okay, go with, go with the monkey. Go with the chimp. Let's go. Let's go. Follow us. <laughs> Yanni, you're doing some cross fertilization of projects. <laughs> Mixing Natalia's project with mine. This this sounds like a great idea. So. Who is this project from? Richard. Me. Hello. <laughs> Say hi to the camera, guys. Also known as Neuroformer. That's him. And what's the name of your project? Uh, it's called Be A Bird VR. I already like it. Can you tell us a bit <laughs> more about it? <laughs> I mean, even though I'm a monkey, but, you know, supporting the animal kingdom. <laughs> Sure. Um, should we go around the corner so I can explain it with... Mm -hmm. Rich, somebody wrote in the chat, beer bird. Like, beer bird. <laughs> beer bird. Like, uh... Beer bird. Beer, beer bird. bird. Beer bird. So, so the first bit, there's no... There's this, if, if we look this way... Yes. Oh, yeah, you've already, you've already done it. Yeah, so I'll come and stand over here. So the first part of the experience... You're lying down flat on the floor, mm. and you end up flapping your arms to fly. Okay. <laughs> in order to get you used to the fact that everything's tilted, you stand in front of a mirror. This is your reflection, oh, and you okay. can see when you move your arms that you flap them. 
Okay. And then up here, there's a tutorial video that walks you through all the different flight movements. So that's the first part. It takes about two minutes. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. So it just gets you used to being in a seagull mm -hmm. body. And then you start flying, <laughs> which is up there. Okay, so we go. Can you activate the video? To, to, can you yes. show the video, Despina? Yes. Okay, guys. Oh, because I tried to do it earlier. I couldn't do it. No. Can we have a look? <laughs> He's right there. Could be a bird. Let's go. I'm seeing you. Go, go step up. <laughs> Don't be shy. Oh, hello, Arsenios. <laughs> I am from my computer, so I don't know if I can move my my flaps. No, I'm gonna oh. do that. <laughs> <laughs> you made me so so sad. So sad. I'd love to see you move your flaps. It's such a shame. Okay, the video is playing. Oh, Rich. Wow. Oh. <laughs> a big movie. <laughs> a big film. Welcome to so the Be a Bird Virtual Reality. Can you hear? Yes. Come in if you can't hear. The score was made by a man called close. Dave Bankel. So you fly through the valley and it's going to show you, if you look up at the top, it's going to explain each of the movements. Clap to go faster. Push wing to turn. So the faster you flap, the faster you go. And right now you'll see I turn my wrists. And that makes you go down. If you turn the wrist the other way, then it makes you go higher and higher. Mm. So you go through, you can't quite hear the sound effect. It, it does a little bloom after the particle effect. <laughs> oh, here I can hear. You need to be very good, very close. No, yeah, I can you hear. need to be very close, yeah. What's this noise? So there oh. are various birds <laughs> flying around. And so once you hear a bird, you can go and fly over to it and steal its, uh, steal its berry. <laughs> so in the distance is the next bunch of birds. It's, it's divided up into three parts. So, so okay. are you gonna, the titles will roll again. Oh, oh, have you split it up? Okay, yes. right. Wicked. Yes. Let's go to the next part. Follow me. Right. Oh, oh, guys, I can fly. How I can, can fly? fly. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what is that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay. Glitchy Queen, you've got a lot of avatars. For yeah, real. this one's appropriate, right? <laughs> I'm going to change as well. Okay. <laughs> Uh, can I have a photo of you guys in front of the uh, wow. in front of everything? That would be great. Now Yay. or when we go down? <laughs> a lot of yes. kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> god this is chaos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you can't see the camera, then the camera can't see you. Ready? Three, two, one, three, <laughs> get out. Ow, you're not even a person. <laughs> Brilliant. Bacon issue, that's, that's more like it. That's more like it. <laughs> okay. This owl is blocking my view. <laughs> okay, that's better. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this is the next bunch of birds you meet, part two. Ah. So you should be able to tell, hopefully, from the sound that here we have. So power up. Now I can go incredibly fast, which isn't all. So because I've collected nice. five purple berries, I can go much faster now. Oh, yeah. mm. Need to get some orange. Yeah, birdie, birdie, birdie. So if I get five orange, you see on the heads up display, it says learn bird. Once you get five orange, then you can actually speak owl or at least understand. I see here the, the relevance of Natalia's project. Oh yeah, uh, right! <laughs> oh. So there's another three berries. Yes. One more orange. Anna's trying to rejoin. Ow. Okay, I invite her. Mm. That yes, over please. there is the so-called Irie tree. That is okay. our final destination. Wow.
That's an iry tree. So that's the fine. That's, <laughs> you know, iry as in the perch of Ooh. an eagle. Ah, uh, okay. So, so now we've got five orange, we can understand owl, and that's the, the next part. Oh, so okay. should we go to act three? Yes, we can go to act three. Oh, apparently it's down here. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Dun, dun. <gasps> oh, there are three videos. I'm cool. stuck. Three videos, that's right. Greedy. Oh, you just come, come down through this corner. Come yes. down through this corner here. It's the secret passage on the right. You can do it. You can do it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, well done. We've come done. across so far. We're making you coming, bird sound. Are you coming, uh, Alejandro? <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't really. <laughs> I think he's happy up there. <laughs> come into the corner. That's it. Oh, good yeah. man. Good man. Well done. Yeah. And remember, okay. what piece uh, they're making. Oh, there's someone else. Fine. Who's that over there? Should I go and as far as possible <laughs> without surrender? I think that was Byron. Yeah, I found, I found is it? it? Come here. Whereas now I can oh, see Al. There's, there's, there's two people. Oh, there are a lot of people. Oh, it's Anna. Yeah, lots of people. Is it? Hello. Yeah, Anna. Oh, that's Beer. Hi, Hi Beer. Hi. Oh. Listen to us. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you go into the corner. Okay. There you go. Okay. Come on, Byron. Okay, this is the. Do -do -do -do. This is the fourth <laughs> bunch of birds. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or bitter. For always. So if you hadn't collected five orange, mm -hmm. all you'd hear these owls do is go. Twit, twoo, boo, boo, boo. But if you've got five <laughs> orange, then you can hear what they're saying. Oh God. Okay. And you are doing. And, the and voice because I don't want to hog. I'm doing the voices because there was a, sh a shortage of voice actors in my life. <laughs> um, yeah, so up there, the final act is actually a concert, but I've only got it loaded up on Vimeo, so you, you basically, I have to describe it. Right at the end, you, you, you finally collect five reds, and mm -hmm. then you can make your way into that globe at the top. Once mm -hmm. you pass through, it cuts to the final act, where you have someone in 360 video filmed in green screen, they're playing the flute, uh -huh. and it's a, it's a guy who beatboxes down the flute called Nathan Flutebox Lee. And you've got me mm -hmm. in a seagull outfit saying, welcome, well done, you made it to the final act. Here's, here's the, here he is. And then Nathan does his stuff for a little while, um, like a two-minute little bit of beatbox, and then that's it. Uh, the credits roll, it says the end, the credits roll, and that's the end. So that's it. That's, uh, that's Be A Bird VR. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you very much. Drop the mic. That's an exciting <laughs> project. Thank. Can you tell us? Can you tell Thank us you. a little bit more about how how was? It must have been really challenging to actually understand exactly how a bird mm. flies and to provide a so accurate simulation of of the movements. Can you tell us a little bit about that process? Yeah. Yeah. So so maybe I don't know if this. I can. I'll come. Let me, sorry, I was going to demonstrate, but it's not going to work. Um, so basically, I spent three three months doing battle. What's going? Why is my head separated from my body? This is really weird. It took me ages to work out how to sort oh, of because you go have from camera. doing snow angels. Mm. Oh, how do I get rid of the camera? So you go on your set uh, camera settings, and then you say disable camera. In that way, you you um, kind of. Uh, get rid of that. Mm. It's on your menu. Uh, this. I disable camera. Got it. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay, have I got my arms back now? <laughs> Hooray! So we go in front of the mirror that, while we try the avatar, the seagull avatar. And yeah, do, yeah. And do the flap. In. What? You can explain us a bit more. So, Richard, we're getting some comments for your. Project uh, Marty Mar oh, yeah. Mar Mar Martin says that was great, Richard. Uh, Thank you. Hi, bye. Ooh, lost it. Hi, bye site, which is Adriga says that looks amazing. And oh, Anna says thanks. thanks, Richard. Great project. Many thanks. I appreciate the lovely the comments. comments. Yeah, really nice. Thank you, Natalia, and everyone. Thank you. Are we going to the mirror? Let's go to the mm -hmm. mirror, and then you can tell us a little bit more about the process of. Um, 
how okay. you kind of map the movement because I want to try your avatar. Hmm. Oh, I am behind from the mirror. <laughs> we messed up. Oh, that's why we can't get through. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. come this way. Come around this way and then you can get come around. Come this way, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Come, come a bit more around. There we go. Come around this way. Oh yeah. My God. Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. Come here. Come here. This way. Come this oh, way. This way. This way. way. <laughs> there we go. I love the wings. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like. I'm I don't really know impressed wings. that you managed to do the inverse kinematics. I tried that and couldn't. Couldn't work it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like so awesome. <laughs> it's so... You look a little bit tortured. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit like, I have angles. I, it's all about the angles, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. It's great. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit more good. about those movements and... Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. So it's all about um, mm. what the hell is it called? Dot vector, not cross vector, but dot vector. Mm. Mm. It's so like that just saved my life. Everything about it, whether you're flapping arms, you're, you're comparing from the middle of the body to where the handset is. And you're trying to work out, is that in the same direction as the direction of travel? No, no, mm -hmm. no, as, as the up direction. Um, and that's how those numbers that you saw in the video, some of them are representing the flapping motion. Some of them are representing the tilting motion of the wrists. And then some of them are working out how far your arms come up from the floor. So if it, it reads zero, if you're flat on the floor, if you raise your arm up, it will go from zero up to one if you're pointing at the ceiling. And so I had to I, I literally spent three months working out how to map those mm. various different dot vectors um, into into the flight controls. And so at one point, I had it so that in order to change altitude, you'd change your pitch. So you'd, you'd angle the whole body upwards to go higher and downwards to go lower. Oh, okay. But then Pete, the, in the user testing, people didn't like that. It just just made you vertically move up, or vertically move down. It, it, it sounds boring, but it's really strange how the way you'd imagine it's logical to go from movements in real life to flight movements in virtual reality. Time and time again, what I guessed would be the right way to do it was wrong. And then on the basis of feedback from people who are testing it, they go, no, 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 I want to be able to just twist my wrist to go higher and lower. Or um, I want to be able to... Um, so, so one guy is, made me switch round. The flapping action used to be raising your arm off the ground mm -hmm. and then letting them down again, raising your arm off the ground and down again. Okay. And he's like, no, I want the snow angel movement to be the way that I, I speed up. So I completely switched everything around um, in response to user feedback. And if I hadn't got in that habit of developing and then testing at the weekend, developing all week and testing at the weekend, I never would have known that, and I would have ended up in a, in a finished product that, well, it's not completely finished, but it, the, the, the final project would have been something which people could learn to fly, mm. but they didn't enjoy it, or, or it wasn't intuitive. It took three or four iterations before it was something which people could fly intuitively and enjoyably. And that, that's the main thing I learned from this Masters. It took so much testing, and all of my preconceptions ended up being blown out of the water uh, that's a good learning though i think i think that's a kind of great liberation when you design and make things uh that involve yeah. a lot of people it was enjoyable it was really enjoyable because each time it it, it didn't get a little bit better it got a lot better mm. whereas if it had just been me trying to work it out according to my preferences i'd always be comparing to how it was before how it was last week i wouldn't be comparing it but you know you need people who have nothing to compare it to to give you the true honest feedback you can't yeah. trust your own feedback exactly yeah. that's a big and that's tool. really interesting because you, you yeah you yourself get to rediscover your own product uh, over and over again also i have some Absolutely. more comments from you 
for you from uh -huh. the chat. So Burnett yep. NYC says excellent work, Richard. It looks like a fun experience. And Hair Fernandez says that's really great insight. Thank you for sharing your project and process. So thanks, Rich, oh, for sharing. Oh, you're, you're all really that. kind. Thanks so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Richard. And here I'm sharing the Instagram of Richard. So anyone who would like to see more of his work and connect with Richard can scan this QR code and you will be directed to the Instagram. And please give me the website. <laughs> oh, there's no website. Someone steal the Instagram. You there's have no. fun. You already have a fun, uh, Rich. They won't Yay! be too. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone catch it. Someone this is my you. career you're fucking with. We will have the all the names on on the closing titles as well. So uh, Brain, Mar Brain Man VR um, is is Richard. So you will find his Instagram there as well. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, for this amazing amazing project for letting us fly like birds. <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks for curating it. You've done an amazing job. Yeah, Thank really. you. And guess who is next? Okay. Uh, Why is your voice so high? My? Natalia's voice is high. Natalia, shall we go to bed? Really? <laughs> are you... Let's go to Betty's. Okay. Are you using some sort of voice? Uh -huh. I'm not gonna tell you the secret of dark side of VR chat. Oh my god, look at Byron, he's f he's burning, I didn't see that side of the avatar. Byron, that's so cute! That's so cute, avatar! <laughs> okay, so we are waiting for Anna. Anna, by the way, Anna is the course leader of this amazing uh, course and the amazing work that we have been all doing here so hopefully she will join us soon i think we can uh, continue with betty's project vector product but we keep invite you so guys this mesmerizing project is called in the blink of a mind and is made by uh, betty yen uh, betty yen is one of uh, our uh, talented um gunk of this uh course and as you will see obviously it's like she's a master of making this mesmerizing worlds and environments um mm -hmm. glitchy queen or tasty toasty would you like to read us more a little bit more about this project i will be delighted okay so it's called in the blink of a mind it is a 360 degree immersive media experience that explores several surreal worlds in which reality and unreality become an inseparable duality. This experience is rich in metaphors, embodying the philosophical ideology of the metaphysics of memory. The environment setting is a combination of indoor and outdoor landscapes, with elements discordant to its overall surroundings. Reality, mixed with surrealism, creates a world in which people who walk through it manage to navigate but possibly fail to grasp its underlying meanings until they pause momentarily to absorb the surroundings unlike the familiar world we are physically present in blink of a mind uh in the blink of a mind i'm sorry challenges reality and presents a version of its own welcoming the users to apply his or her meanings what makes this environment different from our familiar world <laughs> lies in the nuances that vary in scale Presented disparities in environment realness, nature, and its displacement, and spatial perplexity. Amazing. That's, that sounds really, um, really enticing. So just let me, before um, we go into the, um, into the booth and see more of the experience, this is the Instagram of Betty. So anyone who would like to connect with Betty, um, Jazzy Tunes, uh, you can uh, scan the QR code now and go to her Instagram directly. And here you can see more of her uh, uh, work she has on her website. Let me put that correct. Uh, so you can um, directly scan this with your phone now um, and, and see more of her work. And that said, 
let's just go inside and explore this beautiful world. Before we do, can I just say one? Can I say one quick thing, Despina? Yes. Yes. I, I made a I made a mistake earlier. Erratum. I need to correct myself. Okay. Over and over again, I said dot vector, dot vector, dot vector. <laughs> That's it. Disclaimer done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rich. Let's go. Let's go and explore Betty's work. Yeah, this is a very beautiful tree. I love the animation of the falling flowers. Let's go below. They're great, aren't they? I, I love the way they always face you. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting some love in the chat. I can't read the emojis, but I think it's love for the model. <laughs> You and guys. the memories are amazing as well. It's so re realistic. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, as I said earlier, Betty has a really magical power in creating spaces. And I think what is really unique in her, um, what is really w unique in her work is, is the fact that Betty creates these surrealistic spaces that has, they have really realistic textures. So the feeling of the space yeah. doesn't feel far away. It feels really close to you, really warm and really earthy. However, it's very surrealistic. And that's, that's a very unique part of, of Betty's work, I think. Yeah, she wrote in the chat that she, her aim was to do it in a photorealistic style. And that does come through come through definitely but it's also interesting because she's exploring these kind of liminal transitional spaces so it is realistic but there's also something dreamlike about it it's really funny i wanted to get some beer and i tried to t i was <laughs> trying to teleport to this side of the kitchen <laughs> really? So nice, and the music and the and the flowers they just go when you enter. Okay, do we have any questions from the? Um, Betty is watching us now, so I will. I think we can ask we can ask her um, a little bit if she had any specific space inspiration for this so betty is this any any country in the world any specific place that inspired you to create this project maybe she can write on the text yeah she's she's present in the text so so let's uh, wait, wait for, for her response so <laughs> she's, she's apologizing because she types slow <laughs> so just some patience <laughs> Yeah, we will be patient, uh, Betty. Um, it's Friday night. We we don't have anywhere anywhere else to go anyway. So um, we're gonna stay mm -hmm. here for quite a while. Yeah. Lockdown room. I really wish I was in VR. So the environment was we inspired. Wish you in VR too. The environment was inspired by the concept of a memory. Palace. She writes. Mm. Oh. Sorry. Uh, it's basically a realization mm -hmm. of my imaginary memory repository. That's why it stops working. So it's correct me if I if I'm wrong and if I remember correctly, but it's meant for users to have a familiar enough space to kind of re-experience certain memories, however vague they may be so she was trying to tap into sort of like uh collective unconscious mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> yeah i think i think it is it is i mean those environments those environments that we, we hear um we see they kind of they feel <laughs> like they come from the unconscious it feels like something familiar and not familiar at the same at the same time as if as if you've seen it but not exactly you made it as well so i think that's a that's a really good um, way to describe it do we have any maybe any questions from the audience yeah. any comment from the audience you guys what do you think about she's also Betty's adding book? that just very quickly she adds that there isn't much interaction because 
the focus is on the visuals and the underlying meanings that reside in the plants, in the lights, and in the spatial design. Mm -hmm. can, Thank I, you, Betty. can I just quickly add respect, Betty, for staying up until three or four in the morning to be here? Yes. That is commitment. Respect to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we sent some... That was, that, that, that was a, a, a mistake emoji because... That's the one we were supposed to send. <laughs> Respect, Betty. Ah, so, <laughs> Betty, Betty is joining us from uh, Taiwan. She is in Taiwan right now. It's like four in the morning <laughs> and she's joining us for there. Uh, Natalia is in Puerto Rico. I am in Greece. Um, Richard is and Yanis are, are in London. Oh. And I, if I'm not mistaken, Veer is in uh, Lisbon. Or you are no, back I'm in London. Porto. I'm in Porto. Porto, Porto, he's in Porto. Even better. Porto. That was a Greek accent, Richard. That was not... <laughs> I think that was a... More, <laughs> more, more Greek than Portuguese. <laughs> so, any other oh, questions it about... It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. He said, <laughs> okay. Any, any other comments from our audience about this project? Uh, no comments. Uh, well, we have... A User 5L4VM0 says that's amazing. And then some Burnett NYC says very dreamy. Uh, great job. <laughs> and Betty just clarifies that it is 3.30 a.m. She has a drink with her like many of us do. <laughs> and she wants to make clear. <laughs> she wants to make something clear. Uh, she specializes more in environmental visualization and spatial design. But she really hopes to collaborate with all of us in the future. <laughs> Me, me, me! Yeah. Please make my stuff <laughs> look less ugly. Make my yeah. stuff look beautiful. I, I beg you. Betty, whatever you specialize into, you're doing it really well. So, well done. And, and yeah, it can always have an integration with other media. So, um, it's not a limitation. It's, it's actually a <laughs> talent. <laughs> we're, just, we're seeing you. Yeah, bye, the banana. And, Byron Hi. is burning the tree. Oh, Can you see? Come on, yeah. But uh, Charmander is burning the tree of Betty. Can you see? It changed color. Every one of us is like, it looks as if he's in fire. <laughs> oh my God. I haven't Betty. been able to see. Betty, can you see that? Somebody's the burning the tree. Yeah. We are so sorry for this is happening. Yeah, this was not expected. It. This was not expected to happen, but someone is. <laughs> it's, it's not. <laughs> Put fire on the tree. Yeah, Charmander is messing up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing money. <laughs> oh, oh, she said it's okay. Let it burn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, this, is this a reaction to a fi final master project? <laughs> Probably all of us wanted to, to burn our burn final all. master project. Burn the entire world <laughs> after we finish this. So Byron is getting some love in the comments. Uh, Sly, Byron. you're really cute, Byron. Byron, you're really <laughs> cute. We we sent you um we send you all our love. Someone is trying to, yeah, Neuroformer is trying to like set the fire out. Anna, you're the here. Sound is very relaxed. Guys, we have here. Um, <laughs> Hi guys, yeah. Sure. I'm really sorry. It's oh, been just yeah. super. Weird with the headset, I got picked out and I had to restart the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad to be back. Hi, dear. <laughs> I like your avatar. I wanted to have this one, so I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Anna, Hi, for, for being able. He's right now bending the tree, right as you can see. Yeah, so we, we should say again to anybody watching the stream, Anna is the course leader for MA Virtual Reality. If you have any questions, she is here at the banana and she'd be happy to answer them. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so shall we move to the next project? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Let me change my avatar to a more uh, dreamy one. <laughs> yeah, can you go back to being like your usual incredibly hot self? Oh 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, <that's> a... <laughs> Don't look, Jan. Don't look. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Oh, I love oh, this oh, oh, my oh, oh, Thank you, Richard. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, well, what, what else have you got? Shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> what was that? It. Secret talents, Natalia. <laughs> I was harmonizing. <laughs> nice voice. So. Oh, oh wow, a... this is a. Uh... I'm hearing. Uh... Oh, what's his name? Yeah, there's the name. Yeah. What? what is it? Oh, I love this song. Yeah, I think Anna can tell us a bit more about the music because uh, she provided the music for this beautiful world. So, Anna, if you would like to ask to like thank someone for this beautiful music. Um, yeah, I'd like to thank uh, 7-Eleven Musical Discoveries for providing uh, one of their um, streams. I think it's been recorded for Nettle Radio, the online radio in London. And, uh, They've been doing this every month now, and this is one of the streams that they recorded, and they were kind enough to share it with us. So, is 7 Eleven Studios? 7 Eleven Musical Discoveries. 7 Eleven Musical uh, Discoveries. You'll find their. Yes, 7 slash 11 Musical Discoveries. You'll find them on SoundCloud and on Instagram. I'm happy to share uh, the details in the <laughs> chat if you guys want to pick it up. Amazing. Thank you so much, 7-Eleven <laughs> Musical Discoveries. So, shall we begin with the project presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, I'll probably come closer to you, Veer. Uh, and I'm using the selfie camera, so you, we are both in the frame and we can see the title. Natalia, you are massive. You're massive, yes. You're like <laughs> massive. Wherever I stand, oh. you're always in front of me. Go it back to the sense. cute teddy bear. <laughs> oh my God. I, you I can feed the a family where, oh, of you know what? for a week. I'm going to go. Should I go to my no-nonsense avatar? No, no, no. Oh, no, Let me go worry. to. No, no, no. This don't one, worry, this it's fine. Is I'm only joking. Uh, can you guys hear I'll me? just stand somewhere else. Yes, we can hear you. Wow, I think my, so that is awesome. here. Let's go a little bit back. Yeah, dude. Okay. Let's switch it up. Okay, guys, because Veer doesn't okay, okay. have really loud voice, please, whoever is talking, go far away from, from, from me because yeah, we're going to interfere. I'll mute myself. <laughs> yes, so that he can talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my boy Grim. Okay, this is looking intimidating, but I'll make my best. So this is my project. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So, uh, the basic concept for the experience, or the main inspiration, was the phenomenon of lucid dream. Mm -hmm. So, this experience is called Lucido, and is uh, and it is an interactive linear narrative experience in which the user is able to. Uh, explore a lucid dream and uh, discover a narrative about a character dealing with isolation during the COVID-19 pandemic and um, the user is able to edit and create the, the aesthetic of the virtual world so there is a drawing interface that allows the user to easily create drawings and those drawings then multiply or uh, are instantiated in, in the space in order to feel and create the entire dream world. It is a highly interactive experience in which the user can draw, the user can fly, the user can uh, change the position of object through telekinesis, and it relies heavily on hand tracking. So this experience is mainly, uh, was mainly developed for the Oculus Quest. And it uses the new and tracking uh, abilities of, of the device. Um, and I think that'll be it. There's a video showing uh, 
a walkthrough of the entire experience that you can access. Here, if you interact with one of the cubes that the spinner created, uh, so just go ahead and explore the environment. I also integrate into this experience my illustration work that is usually uh, composed of images that can inter be interpreted in more than one way. Uh, so I play a lot with negative phase and multi stable perception in order to create other images. And here you can see one of those images that's from one perspective. Um, you interpret it as a face and a hand, but from another, um, you see it as someone like uh, sleeping or lying on a bed. So, just go ahead and record. And if you have any question? Thank you I'm very here, much, Veer. Super nice. Amazing work. I think, I mean, the really, really unique work that you that you do is like you're almost creating an entire uh, world with its own rules and its own like from movement to to creation <coughs> to input methods. I think it's like an entire new existence, which I think is is a very very nice um, uh, creation for virtual reality. C'est magnifique. Oh, thank you. C'est magnifique. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> are you planning to are you planning to um, have your project somewhere online? Uh, have it on Oculus uh, or some some other publication um, um, platform? Right now, I'm in the process of getting funding from um, a couple of. Um, animation uh, production companies like that would be the uh, and my idea is to develop the, the project further and, and release it on the Oculus or uh, either like at the end of this year or next So we got a comment on the chat uh, Hi bye it says I really like the concept behind your work Veer Should we watch the video? I can't wait. To... Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Through the teleportation and try to do that like that. Okay. Now, there have now been over 10 million so Burnett NYC says I have to go, but this was a great showcase. Thanks everyone for presenting and good luck with future and continued projects. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you everyone. But instead of supporting those burying the dead, Brazil's president is burying his head in the sand. <laughs> I've missed the noises that the Don't try the cubes. So we really Don't try the cubes. Kind of the rights of the LGBT community have come under uh -huh. threat in Poland after the country established LGBT free zones. And this is a time for us to come together as a community. Oh my God. To your loved ones. Check in on friends. Looks amazing. Hi. How are you? Oh. <laughs> you haven't sent any messages. The last couple of weeks. Ooh, respect. Are you okay? For a while. <laughs> That's a great avatar, yeah. <laughs> For a whole new city. Doesn't mean I don't care about you anymore. So, um, uh, Vier, the voiceover is also part of the experience, right? By definition, lucid dreaming is simple. Probably he's he is over there. I don't think he can hear you. Right. He's yeah, over there. Think... He's right yeah. over there. He doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Start doing a couple of times a day. That is apparently quite a good trick. I wanted to say <laughs> how much like <laughs> the experience. It's not really a voiceover. It's a newspaper. Whatever you want. Not only will they not make a character sense, that follows you throughout the experience and talks to you. Mm -hmm. And this character as an avatar is yeah, constantly changing, gestures that and the voice is also yeah. constantly changing. Because uh, in dreams, there's this phenomenon called like form instability, mm -hmm. where characters and things constantly change uh, what they look like or what they are when you look away from them. And I try to use that and integrate that into the narrative and the character. And in this case, you have a character that follows you to the extreme and talks to you, but that character is constantly changing who they are. 
observe what's going on mm -hmm. around you and let things stabilize and it's also changing the voices are changing as well i think that's a really really nice um yes even though i know the voice changes and they're uh, the other part of it should be protected i should be doing something there's so much things i could only in your artwork and i think the experience i want to do something go ahead <laughs> I was about to say that the artwork is um, is really beautiful as well, so you can tell us a little bit um, more about how you make it, because some people ask us about uh, the questions from like, how do we manage to do those projects, what softwares we're using, and so you can tell us a little bit about um, how you made all this artwork as well. Maybe in the end, after we finish the video. Yeah, I was just going to say that I think that uh, from the walkthrough that we saw, uh, you strike a good balance between interactions and kind of guiding the user. So there's a moment here where you give the user a lot of uh, free freedom to interact and to design, but you also lead them really well into the story. And that's something that's hard to do in VR, to strike that balance well. <laughs> I'll, this is the one I was talking about checking. I'll, I'll look at it and stand still so you can actually have a little look. Um, and it's also really nice how uh, Veer kind of um, scales the different ways of inputting in VR and different different ways of creation, how you scale them uh, from, from the start to the end. Um, more like, or more or less like giving giving powers to your to your users which reacts to this effect of what you control as the creator but what your um your viewer feels as freedom or learning freedom i think that that was like also very nicely done very complex um to achieve but very very nicely done yes, yeah can i also add something with... Yeah, but the thing is, Here, you go ahead. I don't think I could even use those okay. Um, I ex yes, uh, as the <laughs> scene was saying, I experimented with different uh, ways of editing the world and parts of the uh, perspective when creating this interaction. Was a interaction that would allow you to very quickly create entire virtual um, environment. So, for instance, the interaction that is playing now on video is the drawing a proxy action so the user draws a small drawing in front of them and Did that she... drawing is instantiated in multiple places in the environment a larger scale and that like that fills the world very quickly the environment that is designed by the user. Mm -hmm. um, that always worried me it's worried me ever since Anna would you like to go ahead and add yeah. Yeah, but thanks. I, I, I just wanted to add that what makes this experience really um, special is the fact that it seems infinite. So it does really play on that idea of VR as a, as a space that we could go anywhere. So it, it doesn't seem like there are any boundaries. But there's also a nice thing to the idea of dreaming. Like, really, um, you have all the space as your canvas. So I really like that. Uh, you can navigate anywhere because you don't really know if you're upside down in that world or it is it is actually so dreamy achieving to create what you described is like dreams no boundaries and and just be able to to have the unexpected Do we have any any comments from the audience, guys? How do you uh, how would you like to comment? Give se, send your highs to to Veer or emojis <laughs> or emojis. We can transfer the emojis for sure. Uh, 
吗？ Any questions? To try to tell another human being. So this is what Veer was telling us before that he is kind of. There are thousands of queer people. Kind of creating these visual illusions. Queer as a gift, a gift that enabled them to open their hearts and minds to other people who didn't look and sound like them. But I will tell you that we're a community that's lived through plague before and barely survived it. Now we're in another time of pandemic. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to fight for you no matter what. And I hope that in this time you'll get some sense. You'll really learn about what compassion means. I think there was an element of escape always. <gasps> so there was always an element of escape in being a painter. With this dear straight people, why do I have to prove my love is authentic? Why do I have to prove my love is authentic? Why do I have to prove my love is authentic? Why? You can just feel empty all the time and not know why. Why do I have to prove my love is authentic? Why do I have to prove my love is authentic? Why do I have to prove my love is authentic? Why? We have to do the deeper work because nobody in the previous generations has been able to do it. We're the first generation where I will grow up and be out my whole life. When you wake up from a dream, the memory of the dream is rapidly lost. When it... Why can't we remember our dreams? Every little detail seems to slip through your fingers. The average person forgets about fifty percent of their dream when they wake up. After ten minutes, that number climbs to ninety percent, until suddenly you can't remember a single thing. Now the experiencing self lives its life this being a, continuous um, has moments of how experience do I create one after the mm -hmm. other and you can uh, ask what happens to these yeah, moments yeah, after, yeah. and the answer is really straightforward they are lost yeah. forever most the experience of them, well in terms of concept yeah. art i most of them i draw completely ignored by the real well, I, I usually, self uh, and yet somehow you get is, the like, sense that they is, is, count that what happened uh, in these moments of the thing to that is our life using any kind of uh, tablet and stuff but one of the main um, methodologies that i wanted to implement in this product was to create as much as i could directly in vr so all the 3d models in the the product were created directly in a vr app um, that not only allowed me to have a finer control of uh, of how the, the models would look in virtual reality, but also it's a very immersive content creation, content creation um, way of. It's very it's extremely of work. But, so I use medium VR for. The, mm -hmm. the Oculus Quest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not for the Oculus Quest, for the Rift, but I used Oculus Link in order. But I modeled all these pretty straight up. So we have a comment in the chat from Philip McHunt, which says, This looks so cool. Thank you, Philip. Oh. Thank you, thank, thank you. So Veer was telling us that he was uh, using the VR app called Medium to create all the all the three D geometry and assets for this experience. I am repeating Veer because you are breaking, so I'm not sure if everything goes along. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you, Justine. I think. Or. Uh, amplifying my voice. It's really nice also to just even watch like the colors, how the the um, the art uh, art direction and the colors are, and it evolves. It's like, and I think that the um, also the what you mentioned about 
the hand striking what what you mentioned about the hand striking um he, um headset is is like something that will really bring more and more interesting content and interactions in virtual reality applications because it just like frees your hand from um from the controllers and the like really default mm, button yeah exactly there are some some downsides like uh controllers tend to be more precise mm -hmm. and they give immediate feedback to things that you interact with and then uh, interface doesn't really give that much haptic feedback but really much and it allows for very Yes, but I think VR, apart from the limitations, you, you really mastered it here because you have so many different interactions. From what we can see also in the in the video, um, where you are actually using your hands uh, that like real time being tracked for, for what we see in the um, in the inside VR video. So um, I think that this project is a really, really excellent also case study for the hand tracking because you kind of mastered all these different interactions and inputs in a kind of really, really efficient and, and, and I mean, I haven't tried the, the experience yet myself, but it looks that it's really accurate and responding to what you're trying to create. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Oculus is really good. Really good and tracking. So the, 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 the video is about and it's about to end, probably. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Veer. I can't wait to try this cube. Thank let's, you. Let's do the, let's do the teleport game. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, but like, in the I'm meantime, scared. whoever is watching us, please send us a question about Veer because we will be keep accepting your questions now about Veer and then we will share with you. Actually, no, first let's share the Instagram and... um website of Veer. Let's actually go a little bit closer. So we have a message from Betty. She says, cool project, Veer. I'll be going to sleep now. Let us all stay in touch, and I wish we had more time together face to face. Same. <laughs> but at least we have VR. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Thank good night, or much. good morning, I should Bye. say. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you, Betty. Have a lovely... Um, have a lovely break after your uh, master project submission that, that you did really successfully. And let's stay in touch. Yes. Um, thank you for your amazing project, for being us with us tonight. And um, yeah, can't wait to, to see you and talk to you in the future. Loads of love. So this is the Instagram of year. It's your time now to scan um, the QR code and get directed to the Instagram. So I'm going to give you three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one seconds. And let's go now see. You can also just, you can also just Google Vier Nev. Yes, he, um, oh the name uh -huh. is Vier Nev. Also, uh, the name is going to be on the closing titles like everyone else sees. So whoever misses the Instagram and the website, you can find it on the closing titles. So this is the website um, QR code as well. So now if, he, if anyone is like super curious to see more of this amazing work, you can scan it now and um, go see it. Okay, time's up. Let's go play with the cubes, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Let's go. Do do one play with the cubes, and then I think maybe it's time for us to like thank our uh, viewers and uh, invite them to stay in touch with us. Um, 
any questions they have for our course, you can contact us and uh, hopefully we will be doing more of showing more of our this amazing work in the future. Yeah, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for your comments. Maybe, Anna, would you like to say something? Would you like to say something before we close the show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, the students for their amazing work. And I must say, I'm really proud of everyone for uh, continuing to work so hard throughout the past year almost since we moved everything online. And I think that all the projects are amazing. They're very different, but they're different in great ways. And I'm super proud of all of you. And a shout out to everyone else who couldn't join us today. I know that some of you are on a different time zone. So I hope that you'll be able to watch the recording. Um, and thanks to the team, like to the teaching team. Of us were here uh, yes. earlier, like Alejandro, probably they missed someone else. Alejandro Escobar is our VR team support. Uh, Alejandro, thank you so much. We wouldn't be here without your support oh, and true. remote uh, support. And thank you, Despina, for organizing this and for presenting it and for putting together all this world. Uh, and yeah, thanks to the viewers for joining us tonight. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, keep the world up. Uh, so if there's any other requests to come back and to see some of the work, then we can arrange that. So I think our details... Espinas and my details should be in the email ad- or in the invitation. Otherwise, there is another email uh, address that you can reach out. To. Of course, John. I don't know if you, you was able to join us tonight, but anyway, thank you, John. Really, we missed having you here with us. Yeah, that'll be all. Thank you very much, Anna. So yeah, and worth here- mentioning again. Thank you, Espolina, for designing this exhibition world and for inviting us all. Thank you, everyone. Please, uh, Vir, come over to the frame so that we can say a goodbye to everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. This has been a really, really uh, fun night, and we hope you enjoyed it with us as well. Um, and we wish you the best for the rest of the year. Stay in touch with us, and uh, loads of love. Bye. Bye, thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> did you no die? Way. I did. Okay, this is the backstage. Since I'm sitting next to that. The real party begins yeah, now. Yeah. This is the backstage. I have that effect on people. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Byron, somebody's asking for you to dance. <laughs> <laughs> the people want you to dance. Byron, would you like to dance? Byron, would you dance? <laughs> dancing? <laughs> oh my god! Let me bring it closer. I think we should all dance. Shall we go where the music is and dance? <laughs> No way! <laughs> Tyson would be so happy. <laughs> That's hilarious, Jan. <laughs>